There is two generations of Galileo, the original Galileo and Galileo Gen 2. The main difference is the size, the Gen 2 is larger. Also, the USB host port is different, it's a macro USB on Gen 1 and a full size USB on Gen 2. The USB client port is the same micro USB in both cases. Now, very important, the power supplies for Gen 1 and Gen 2 are different and they have different capabilities, so please do not mix them. You'll need a micro SD card that you will plug inside the micro SD slot of Galileo to boot Linux. To flash the SD card from your PC, you will need an adapter. So you have the choice between a full-size SD card adapter or a USB-sized SD card adapter. Let's talk about setup now. The initial setup may take you 30 minutes. It's an interactive process. Then there's background uh, OPKG system package installation. Around 30 minutes, depending on your internet connection. And finally, the background Node.js package installation. This one can take a while because it's recompiling everything, so up to several hours. But you don't have to stay in front of your computer. You can just write a script and let everything uh, happen without being in front of your computer. If you receive some SD card from me, they are already formatted with the operating system and package installed, so you don't need to do anything from this video. Now let's talk about the operating system that will install on this SD card. There's different OSs available. Uh, first, we'll talk about Linux. You have the choice between uh, Linux compiled for glibc or eglibc, that's embedded, or ulibc, that's a very small embedded uh, libc version for uh, tiny embedded systems. You can install the image of your choice but the repository uh, you use after installation has to match the library that was used during compilation. So, for example, if you find the SD card official image from Intel, it's compiled with UC Libc, so you can use the repo.opkg.net slash Galileo. If you use UbiLinux uh, image from Emutex, then you, it was compiled with glibc, so you can use uh, a regular Debian repository with uh, binary packages that were compiled for i586. And last, uh, if you use the IoT dev kit image from Intel software, it was compiled with eglibc. So you can use a repository uh, from the dev kit, but there is not a lot of packages available. Or you can use another repository from uh, Tokor in Japan. Download the latest IoT dev kit image. And unzip the archive. If you look at the file type, it's a disk dump, so we'll use DD to flash the SD card. Insert the SD card in your computer. To identify the right device corresponding to your SD card, we'll run FDisk. The first entry is for your main disk. And there's my SD card, corresponding to the size of my SD card. You can now remove the SD card from your computer and boot your Galileo with your newly flashed SD card. Wait one minute for your board to boot Linux. 
then go to your router admin interface. In the DHCP table, you'll see a new entry for your board. First, there's a name, but also the MAC address corresponding to the sticker on the Ethernet port of your Galileo. That's how you know it's the right one. Note the IP address on SSH to your board. Now the tricky part. We took a small preview image from the IoT developer kit, but we want to install a lot of packages on the SD card. So we'll have to expand the DIX table and resize the partition. Here's how to do it. Look, we have uh, 2 gigabytes of uh, storage space now, and it's mostly free.